Guys, today we're gonna to take a look at how you can prevent injuries like a professional footballer. We've met this guy before. I'm here with Matthias Seinberg from FCN, who is an expert in keeping your body in perfect condition. I'm kind of figuring impact injuries, you can, you know, get the right shin pads, all that stuff. You can be clever in the match, but at the end of the day, you can't do much about it. No. So today we're gonna look at overuse injuries and try and take all the learnings that FCN are doing as professional footballers, kind of condense it down so you guys as amateurs or upcoming professional footballers can actually learn how you can prevent injuries like a pro on your own. Oh yeah. Let's do it. So Matthias, injury prevention can be quite a lot of different things, right? Uh, so we're gonna split it into a couple of different categories. So pre-match, yeah. day of the match, important match. We've already talked about how the players actually prepare for a match from the holistic point of view, but when they sit here, they've had the team talk, then they go out and, and warm up. How do they specifically look into preventing getting injured? when they warm up? Well, the, the biggest part of that is just to get really warm, a really good thorough warm up. Uh, so we wouldn't have it as an individual uh, issue that you need to do this, you need to do this to make sure that you don't get injuries because normally you wouldn't want the players to be that in that state of mind, oh, I'm going out there to play not to be injured. Right. So this is something that they actually don't think that much about. They just go there to get warm for the game. So basically what you're saying is that it's just important to go out there and actually warm up properly yes so so it, let's say that i have had five hamstring injuries what what could i do in order to warm up properly and also kind of prevent strengthen my legs yeah to well, one injuries. of the things you can do is the the nordic uh, hamstring exercise okay. which is an exercise where you work on the back side of your your leg and you do uh, exercise where you lean forward slowly and without becoming too nerdy, but the muscle will, will stretch while you do the exercise, and this actually protects the muscle. What, what, what other things? I mean, I can also have a little bit of an issue with my groin at times. Is there any other thing I can do as an amateur to kind of mimic what the pros do? Another exercise called Copenhagen adductor will work on the, on the uh, adductors, which are the muscles that uh, put the legs together. It's a very basic exercise. You can do it alone, you can do it with a partner. Uh, normally with the players before the Super League games, they will do it together with me. Uh, but it's a, it's a very easy exercise. It takes one minute to do it. Um, and this will help them also not to get injuries on the, on the insides. So remember guys, pre-match, get warm. That's the most important thing. As I gather, it's not on match days that most of the injury prevention work is done. It's actually on the everyday basis, right? How do I, as an amateur player, mimic what you guys are doing when it comes to actually staying injury free? Inside the gym, it would be to work with, with weights. So both the traditional strength training, which could be an exercise like squat, for example, uh, different kinds of lifts, that works on the legs. So of course, as a footballer, you work with your legs. You want to be uh, faster, more explosive, but you also want to, to prevent injuries. And those are actually the two main things why we do the strength training, to get faster, to be, uh, become more explosive on the pitch, but also to make sure the players are not uh, injured. Squat is a, is a really good uh, fundamental exercise that works on, on uh, improving the players so to become more faster, on the backside, a little bit more focused on the backside, uh, but also more resilient. So basically, a strong muscle is a resilient muscle. Yes. And resilient muscles mean you won't get injured as much. Exactly. But actually, that sounds a little like basic to me. Uh, and maybe it is just the basics you need to do, but is there something else than just traditional gym workout you can do for your legs to yeah. stay injury free? I would say the, 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 the tendency of what has happened the, the last five, 10 years in strength training is that you move over to also doing some exercises that mimic how you work on the pitch. So for example, uh, now we sit here on a nice, very nice track. That could be a, a prawler push or it could be uh, some kind of, of dynamic movement where the players move from one side to the other side that's closer to a normal football run. So even going out with like a, a parachute on, would that, that, that work? That would work for, that would for sure work. Okay, so Matthias, post-match, you've obviously beaten the opponent. 
by a lot of goals, everyone's happy. And this is where I imagine that a lot of the injury prevention work comes in, right? You go in, you lay on the mattress, you know, physio comes in, does a lot of stretching. Yes. But then you said before we started rolling that that's not the case at all. No. What, no. what, what, what happens after a match? Well, it's actually very, very basic. The first thing the players will meet when they come down the, in the locker room is me. And I'll be standing with this, uh -huh. which is, and it, this is a Gatorade, it could be uh, all different kinds of, uh, of brands, but it's just a sugar drink. Okay. So one of the most important things is to get, to reload, to get carbohydrate and, uh, and liquid uh -huh. as quick as possible. Okay. And then the next big thing is rest. So uh, Seriously? Yes. To get them, uh, get something to eat. This is not the only thing they get. They also get some, it could be pasta or whatever, so, but some, uh, some, some meal after the game. And then it's all about getting home and getting some rest. The most important thing is to, to drink, to fuel and to rest. Is, is that it? L yeah. like, hydrate, refuel, rest. Yeah. They just do that, shower, go home. Basically, that's it. But, but that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> but then the next thing is, how much do you drink? And how much do you eat? Definitely and how not much enough. Do we rest? Yeah. No. And that's the thing. And this is where it gets tricky because now we're going to jump to your secret sauce and how you can actually do these things as an amateur. Because there is actually a secret that you can also use that we get from the pros. What, what was that the secret sauce? That's the, the GPS. It's kind of my, my babies. I really enjoy the GPS system because it tells a lot of information on what the players do, both in the games and on the trainings. If you have sprints, if you have a GPS uh, that you can buy, you can buy all these different uh, uh, gimmicks, they will measure a, a sprint. So uh, let's say you wear this, uh, this gimmick in a game, you have 10 sprints, then you know, okay, during a week, I would also like to have somewhat around 10 sprints during the, the training week. So I can use the GPS to kind of stay disciplined on how I train to make it as match-related as possible, is that yes. right? So overall, what I'm getting from this is that the secret sauce is actually not so secret anyway. It's about, for you guys, professionalism, yeah. I guess for us amateurs, it's about self-discipline. Yeah. We get the sleep we need, the rest we need, we eat right before and after the match. We think about our, our warm-up, our general strengthening, and then we actually take our you know, load management seriously. Is it really that simple? It is that simple. So there you go, my friends. Some tips on what you can do to prevent injuries like a professional, even though you're just an amateur and don't have a big team of physios and nutritionists and all that jazz behind you. But what do you want to learn from the pros here at FC Nordsjælland next? Well, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. And then, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And of course, if you want to learn more on improving as a football player right now, there's also the playlist with stuff we've already made in the corner right down there. With that said, guys, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.